Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here, and today we are on our way to a restaurant called The Barbecue Factory, which is a barbecue restaurant in Toronto. It's relatively new. It's been open for, I want to say, about a year now, maybe just less than a year. So they recently just launched this challenge, which is offered for a limited time. It's at least December and maybe into January, uh, but essentially it is a five and a half pound barbecue sandwich. The catch and where the real difficulty is, it has to be completed in nine minutes. I'm serious, we have five and a half pound barbecue sandwich in less than nine minutes. If you do win though, there is a bit of a cash prize. So they have two variants. They have like the standard one, which is pulled pork and sausages and like pork, um, which is $50. And if you win, you get a $100, you get $100 cash back. However, you still pay for the sandwich. So you're talking like $50 gain assuming that uh, you don't have to pay tax. Then the second one is a halal safe challenge, which is chicken and beef. That one is $100, but if you win it, you get $200 cash. So it's like double the price with double the reward. However, again, you still are paying for that sandwich. So it's $100 plus tax or $100 plus dollars. Then you get $200 cash back. So in both, you should be talking of a $50 net gain if you do the pork version and a $100 net gain if you do the halal safe beef slash chicken version. So again, only nine minutes, but uh, let's go see what we can do. Apparently, apparently this challenge has been defeated. However, I haven't been able to find any pictures um, of the sandwich besides of the actual adver advertisement like picture and I don't know, so I, I don't know if somebody's beaten it, but apparently it has. Um, we get only nine minutes, we're gonna have to go 100%. This is probably gonna be very messy. Just a heads up, it's it's everything goes. We're talking cash here, everybody. So let's tune in, see what we can do. Let's go. Hi everyone, so here we are, we're gonna start. Uh, this is an absolutely massive sandwich, over five and a half pounds. But we have nine minutes to try to beat it, so uh, let's just get at it. Start with the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome to what is undoubtedly one of the craziest and hardest speed challenges I've ever attempted. So for this challenge we had to eat this absolutely massive 5.5 pound barbecue sandwich in less than 9 minutes. Alright, what you have to realize, this is a barbecue sandwich. This is not a burger, this is not french fries, this is not a burrito, this is not pumpkin pie, this is not ramen, this is not pho, this is not any other kind of actually easy to eat food. Barbecue is a hard food to eat quickly, especially with these massive buns. So obviously, as you can see, I am having to dunk because it is the only way anyone would get through this. They apparently said this challenge was uh, or defeated. However, I'm going to have a d an individual debriefing at the end of this video that I definitely recommend you check out, um, just so you kind of get a whole story behind this challenge and I'll ultimately let you kind of think and decide for yourself. So what you are seeing here is me literally going 110%. This is like beyond, this is like either full contest speed or even beyond full contest speed. Like this is, like you have to realize there's like 10 minute contest speed and this is that if not even like quicker. I was literally giving this my absolute all. Obviously, yes, this is messier. It's just all part of it. So nine minutes to eat this sandwich. I just, you know, I mean, going into this, it, it honestly was almost a challenge and I was consulting a few of my eater friends that w it was literally like we were kind of half debating if like this was even half possible, half doable and really wondering if this challenge was kind of just more made as an absolute gimmick and made to actually be essentially impossible um, with no intention of anybody actually winning just as a publicity stunt. Well, I don't know. At this point, and again, you really need to refer to that debriefing um, at the end of the video. So the actual uh, sandwich itself, obviously I went with the halal version, um, which had chicken and brisket on it. Um, versus the normal one which had the pulled pork. So what I was risking was paying $100 for the sandwich and losing $100 with the halal version, but I could also win $100, whereas if I chose the regular pulled pork one, I'd be paying $50 and I could only win $50. So, you know, double the money and I decided to double up. Also on the sandwich there was um, coleslaw. They had like basically a mayonnaise essentially, and then barbecue sauce, 
Um, that was pretty much it. They also kind of gave me the option um, because I believe they originally said, if I remember this correctly, the coleslaw theoretically would not have been halal. So they would have put, I believe it was potato salad on it. But I don't actually follow a halal diet. I just wanted the offering with the more money. So I said, well, coleslaw is like totally fine. You can just stick with coleslaw. Um, I'm not particular in any regard. Um, so I also had this big bowl to dip my bread in because this bread was big, massive. It was like a sour, kind of like a sourdough bread. Um, or I believe they might have even described it as like a Portuguese bread, maybe. Um, but to make the long story short, it was a tough, dense bread. And the only, literally the only way that this challenge was at all possible and literally, again, we're talking like high-level eaters debating the plausibility of this challenge or the ease of this challenge um, was absolutely going to be soaking that bread um, as you are essentially seeing me do here. Again, really only nine minutes. Um, like, and, and at this point, like again, I just, there's no actual pictures of this challenge anywhere besides the one for the advertisement. So... I just kind of found it hard that there wasn't even pictures of individuals failed attempts because again this challenge was literally just released a couple days before I went and attempted it and although I definitely saw individuals commenting on their posts being like hey I want to try this and then tagging their friends being like you should try this I didn't actually see any comments from people being like yo I tried this it was difficult or it was easy or anything kind of along those lines. So I was I really didn't know what to expect going in blind. All I knew is that I was gonna have to give this my 100%, my absolute all. And like I said, I really did. Um, this is not an easy, like slow going, even normal challenge speed for Joel. This is literally a contest speed, like give it your all, etc. So, yeah, I just, you know, again, definitely wait until the end of the video, check out the debriefing, let me know what you think down below, and we'll see if I end up winning, you know, any cash, or if I end up having to pay X amount of money. So with that, everybody, let's get to the rest of the video. Done this handful of my don. The bread on a bowl. What? The bread. There's nothing there. You done? Woo! Done. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Six minutes. You win two hundred dollar cash. No. Oh. Oh man, that's what I feel. Can breathe. Whew. All right, everybody. So we finished that challenge. About six minutes. Excuse me. That's a tough one. That is like I gotta breathe for that one. Whew. Excuse me. Definitely work out. For that, thanks to everybody here at the Barbecue Factory. Hell of a challenge. I do win a hundred dollars for doing that. So thanks again, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. It's a little messier, uh, and obviously like a lot of water, but. Had to be done. Nine minutes is a crazy time limit for that. Oh, need to catch my breath. Well, everybody, hope you enjoyed. Till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. And there's the receipt I had to pay. I had to pay $113. Everybody, so, throw that food all over my face. But uh, we did it. We did it. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a heck of a challenge. So thank you for watching, really appreciate it. Um, again, messy, but you had to dunk. Like, that is a, that's a full 10 out of 10 speed. That's a guy going 100%, just to give like perspective of how difficult that was. But uh, yeah, so that's what they call the halal version, which has uh, brisket and then chicken. And then if you want to do the normal one, which is only a $50 sandwich versus a $100 sandwich, and you only win $50 instead of winning $100, so it's like half. Um, same weight though, it is uh, pulled pork, 
um, still the coleslaw, but then you also have like pulled pull pork and sausage, so basically pork. So yeah, I, I mean, and of course the ceremonial for Mr. Damon, we have dessert. We have a lemon, lemon bar, bar, which looks very, very delicious. Do you guys make them here? Yeah, everything we nice. made here. Nice. Everything we made here, all right. <laughs> and a beautiful chocolate chip cookie. Okay, where's the lighting? There we go. All right, well, uh, well let's give it a try. So, chocolate cookie. Mm. Very moist. I like it. Very soft. Definitely a buy. I'm now a lemon bar, which looks very delicious. Did you make this? Yeah. <laughs> and Damien made it. Let's try it. Mmm. Nice and flaky and moist. Very sweet. I like sweet. So that, the two cents to all the staff there. And, I'm now very full. Alright everyone, now time for the debrief, which again, I'm just going to talk you through the situation. I'm going to let you decide. I'm going to remain objective. So, when I inquired about this challenge, they said there had been two winners. Although the challenge had only been out for like a couple days. So I thought that was very interesting. And upon referring to their Instagram, the only actual pictures of the challenge I could find was the one poster advertising the challenge, the 5.5 uh, pound barbecue sandwich. So there's no actual pictures of the challenge made besides that one kind of advertisement. So I thought, well, that was very interesting. Upon inquiring more, they said, well, actually one male and one female had completed it. I thought, wow, that is quite amazing because I can honestly say being in the eating world, I know every single male who would be capable of doing so. And I don't mean personally, but I know of them to which I can count on about two hands and of females that could possibly do this challenge again 5.5 pounds of barbecue sandwich again you got to consider this isn't a burger this is not french fries this is not pho this is not ramen this is not pie or chili or any other soft easy to eat food or like a burrito this is a barbecue sandwich with a massive bun um, you know anyway so to make a long story short I said okay that just seems really odd because I guarantee none of those individuals were around Toronto, Canada. So again, I went in and when I before starting, I inquired. They said, "Yep, two people beat it, um, but they don't have any pictures or any etc. of them." So I said, "Okay, that's cool." Um, so upon completing my challenge, they asked me if I'd mind putting like them putting my picture up on Instagram, and I said, "No, I do not want my info or my picture on your page." Um, I didn't actually care, but I wanted to see if they would put anything up. Um, because there had been nothing previously and sure enough my picture and me winning the challenge ended up on their Instagram so a very interesting story I'm gonna let you just kind of think about that um, let me know I don't like let me know down below do you think actually two people had beat it before I completed it or do you think maybe it was undefeated you're the one to decide oh and my sandwich also provided the first picture that was not the ad of the sandwich as well on their Instagram.